From the newsroom at news.com.au. Good day, I'm Andrew Bucklow. And I'm Bronte Coy. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday, the 21st of September. There were more dramatic scenes in Melbourne today as construction workers and anti lockdown protesters march through the CBD. Construction workers are unhappy that the state government's shut down the industry for two weeks and that they're being forced to get vaccinated in order to keep working. The protest turned violent with one Channel 7 journalist assaulted and pelted with a bottle of urine. To New South Wales, the Byron, Tweed and Kempsey local government areas have been plunged into a seven day lockdown. It comes after an authorised worker tested positive after visiting the areas on the weekend. New South Wales recorded 1,022 cases today and another 10 deaths. In tech news, NASA has announced that it's sending an ice-seeking rover to the moon in 2023. The space agency hopes the robot will confirm the presence of water ice just below the surface, which could one day be converted into rocket fuel for missions to Mars and beyond. And in sport, one of David Beckham's sons is eyeing off a football career just like his dad's. 19-year-old Romeo made his professional debut on the weekend for Fort Lauderdale. The team's coach, Philip Neville, was impressed with what he saw and said Romeo has a really good chance of making it as a pro. Embarrassing if he didn't. Anyway, to showbiz, a journalist has been roasted online for a question she asked Julian Anderson at the Emmys. Here's what the reporter asked Anderson after she won an award for her portrayal of former British PM Margaret Thatcher in The Crown. Just to kind of continue with the whole Margaret Thatcher thing, first question, has if you've talked to her about this role at all? Uh, well, I, um, I, I have not spoken to Margaret Um Um, Armstrong was clearly too polite to point out that Margaret Thatcher died in 2013. (laughs) And finally, (laughs) Kanye West has dropped more than $78 million on a new house. He's purchased a three-storey beachfront property in Malibu. Now, the mansion is mostly made of concrete, with one Twitter user saying that it looks like a high-end bunker for a cult leader. Gorgeous. Want news.com.au with member rewards and fewer ads? Get news.com.au premium today at news.com.au slash premium membership. That's it from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Your headlines from news.com.au. 